A uh, New York City eatery has added a special menu just for dogs. Aww. The restaurant called the Wilson in Chelsea is allowing pets to dine with their owners with a dog-friendly menu that can be shared with humans as well. The restaurant will serve you a 16-ounce grilled ribeye with grilled baby vegetables and steak au jus for $42. What'd or, you call me? <laughs> <laughs> you can have it for any oh, religion come you on. request. <laughs> or pan-roasted true north the pork, salmon. The pork au jus, not as popular. Yeah, with <laughs> steamed vegetables and lemon. The pork islam not as popular. <laughs> what is wrong with you people? <laughs> First of all, these are all good points. What's wrong with me is I love the way they say it's, it's a dog-friendly menu that can be shared with humans. Sure. It shouldn't be a human-friendly menu that can be shared with dogs. The dog That's, menu. And if it was dog-friendly, it would be, well, we have horse meat and kettle ration. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, wait a minute. In the dog's defense... They only eat horse meat and kennel ration because that's what we feed them. Do you think I, they would choose that on their own? Dogs are fairly indiscriminate about what they would eat. <laughs> I'm fine with my dog being my best friend, but I don't want to take him on a date. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the dog menu is inspired by culinary director Jeff Haskell's cooking for his English bulldog, Stella, who reportedly has an affinity for very softly scrambled eggs with sea salt an extra virgin olive oil. Really? That's yeah. just that's because you, you, it's what fell on the floor one day. <laughs> the dog would probably eat anything. Yes. Hard boiled eggs. All doggy dishes. With heavily scrambled yeah. <laughs> pepper. Are plated in single use disposable containers for hygienic purposes. The menu is served exclusively on the restaurant side patio and front terrace, so not inside the restaurant. They should make cake pops that look like tennis balls. <laughs> <laughs> My two dogs are now trading one tennis ball. They're, They're what? what? They're trading. They have one tennis ball. They just trade it back and I mean, forth? Yeah. So one will put it down, the other will go steal it, then sit there and they'll you know, stare, stare at each other. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. I got a box, a case of tennis balls because the girls love the balls. And uh, I don't, it was like 20 bucks for four times three, 24 balls, I think. It's crazy cheap. Do they cheap. chew them up or just play no, with them? You so you're them. saying Tom needs to get a second ball. He needs to get a second ball. Ah. No, but that's the entertainment. You look out the window and go, which one has the ball now? Well, no, Boy. you get the uh, long pull thing that they can pull between each other. You get that. Now the long makes a really good one. Yeah. Did you have, did you have the tennis ball throwing device? Oh, yeah. The chuck it? Sure. An you arm? Got yeah, I got an arm. The chuck it arm? No, 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 no. Nope. The, the well, chuck it is like, it's sort of the, the physical, uh, the prison, excuse me, the principle in physics is probably the same as that of the, uh, the SESTA. In highlight to make it relatable. Yeah, that's um, relatable. Right. It, I can't uh, throw with either of my shoulders because the one that was repaired was repaired by a gentleman who evidently had to get back to the keg. <laughs> so, um, that one's kind of out of whack. And now this one needs it. Then I'm just going to take this one with me. So you, you I don't put care. the ball in this thing. It, but how long is it? Three feet? And it's long it, enough so you don't have to bend over to pick up the right, ball. Right. Yeah, but also right. it really puts a nice little spin on the ball. Now, can you use that with your bad wheel? Uh, kind of. I've Arm. Right. Wheel's a leg. Arm, that wheel. Sorry. Um, so this Wayne. place that has the go. dog food, I was looking into this. They they serve they serve food, so you can take your dog there, but you have to sit out in the porch, right? Which is kind of cool. I think it'd be fun to go there. Um, of course, there are some of the hip hipper folks want a gluten free dog menu. You know, because... I, I I guarantee that's not a joke. Yes. <laughs> right, sure. Did the dogs take home human bags? <laughs> that, now that's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> th can you put in a human bag? That's, that's a dog I, voice. You know they pop pop. Pop. I don't know when that started, but I can remember being a little kid and I, my mom would go there taking home a doggy bag. Yes. And I remember sure. going, oh, that's so nice. They've got a dog just like we do. Exactly. And my mom eventually, no, that's they're going to eat that themselves. Right. No, Tom. I remember being a kid and being but has that been around? That has that been around forever? I don't know. No one's like us, Tom. You're perfect. Uh, no, that's, that's not what you're about said. Uh, uh, well, yeah, I don't believe it. Do enough. you believe in serving uh, hot dogs to dogs? No. <laughs> Why not? They can't eat pork products. They don't digest them well. They don't? No. That's what I was always told. What about the... Um, I, always, I, I like to give I my dogs... I guess you could do uh, all beef wings. What about I give the, my dogs uh, hot dogs dipped in dark chocolate. Oh, <laughs> what about the billion-dollar pig ear business? Uh, yeah, how I do you know. explain that? I'm just telling all you right. what someone told me once. I think it's, it's awkward giving a dog a hot dog. Give them... Even what? though they're not made of dogs, just kind of a cannibalism vibe. Especially if it's a dachshund, yeah. You remember right. Christy Christy goes to the uh, the pet stores and goes up to total strangers and tells them how to raise their dogs. You remember that? Oh, my mm -hmm. God. I did one time I yeah. tried to help somebody. Well, you'll do it again. Now, Josh had an idea a couple years ago. I almost I hesitate to bring this up because someone's going to do it. We've never brought it up oh. on the air. Oh, we haven't? No. Oh, so I won't say it then. 
But I think it will revolutionize no. the pet oh, food. No, that I, did, I wouldn't you say can't, I, I guess dogs stupid can't eat pork. Idea. But it, it has to be thoroughly oh. cooked. Sorry. Mm -hmm. No, I'm, 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 Chick, I'll still allow you to invest here on the ground level. No. Okay. I think it's All a right. great idea. It's a great Thank idea. You. But I, I, in this context, we should, we really shouldn't bring it up. So, Dude, the Do they make do they make fortune cookies for dogs? I don't know. Hmm. That'd be fun. A doggy fortune dogs cookie? Dogs can't read. I don't know if you know this. You'd read it to them. Oh, okay. <laughs> You'd read it to and them. Then if, and if their name was in the fortune, they would pay attention. Yeah. Sure. True. Blah, 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 Could you monkey. honestly <laughs> take blah, your blah. dogs to a restaurant while you were eating dinner? My, there's no way my dog would sit there. Uh, well, these things are everywhere now. I know they are. And uh, there's a great place so just near here. The ones here I've been to, they, it works There's out. a place right around here that, that you can, they have an outside place with a picnic table. Yeah, but yeah. I'm just saying take those dogs dog. are... My dog would not. Oh, do I see. Well. You yeah. know, around other I dogs. And, I can't go to dog your dog park. is an a hole. Yeah. I, I did a show at a dog park, <laughs> like at a dog bar, not too long ago. Yeah. And it was weird because I mean, like the show was great, but like, the dogs were so cute. I felt weird swearing in front. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, like, I don't know. I don't know if Mr. Pickles can hear <laughs> these. <laughs> I don't know. That's like that's like all seven dirty words for a dog. I think.